Well, it's late August here. I think it's the 23rd or 24th. Uh, on a Wednesday afternoon, right around four o'clock. We went out this morning and caught us a bunch of bluegill. I don't know if you can see them in there or not. Small to medium sized bluegill. We also got some fresh shad that we can cut up, we caught. We're in the Kentucky River. We've got a smaller river that comes in right over here to my left. The goal today is to set out some bank poles and some limb lines, try to catch some leader sized catfish. Um, there are also some really good flatheads in here. We're gonna be baiting with mostly uh, live bluegill, so the chance of catching those is good. Anything of size, obviously, we'll let go. Don't wanna take the breeders out of here. But the uh, ideal is to put the fish in the freezer. Like I said, we're gonna have probably 90% live bluegill on and uh, we'll have some cut shad on. But we're gonna set the poles out. We'll, we'll film it, we'll show a little bit of it to show you how we do it. And then just before dark, we'll go check them out real quick and rebate. And then we'll come back in the morning right after daylight and check them again. But uh, a blue's not out of the question here. There are blues in this stretch of the river. Uh, just not super common, but we still may catch one. But yeah, we're gonna to get to work here in a little bit and uh, we'll bring y'all along. I mean, they ain't big enough to... They go through the... That makes me feel a lot much better. It was 18 and a half feet deeper here. few videos back I made these bank poles this is going to be the first time we've used them we're going to drive them in the ground at a 45 ish degree angle and uh, what happened to the tag there? we got the lines here already made up got these little double snap number six so we got to do snap that on that eye Snap it back closed. Got probably a five or six slot. We probably could go with a little bit bigger hooks, but we'll be all right. Drive it in the ground, let the bait hang in the water. See what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give her a try. Well, that's got two numbers on it. So I'm gonna beat this boat up here and Sarge's gonna screw something up. We'll be ready. Right like this angle, baby. Hold on, let's actually see what it feels like. Ain't nothing wrong with their health.
All right, folks, it's the next morning. You can see it's nice and foggy out there here on the river. We ended up setting out 20 bank poles and probably, I'd say, six to eight limb lines. Most of them live bluegill. Getting ready to go see what we got. Uh, one thing I think we've learned already is think the bank pole should be a little bit longer. We tried to uh, be frugal and cut 10 foot pipe in half and use five foot poles. And I think in hindsight, just buy eight foot stick and use it all. But we'll see. Uh, it's just that the bait's really close to the bank with these shorter poles. But stuff's so expensive, it's easier said than done. But anyway, Sarge, you take the truck up. He'll be back down here in just a little bit and we'll go check him out. ain't moving in case you need me to tell you we're over two right now First bank pole fish. First bank pole fish. Oh, we got a, we got a limb line fish up there. Oh, yeah. awesome. I don't know what it is though. It's fish. A little flatty. A little flatty. Sweet. Sweet. Man, I don't know why I wasn't steered like I wanted.
Hey, right, we got a fish on this stuff here. I just now seen it bobble. You win. You win. Well, we ain't got it in the boat yet. Are you serious? It's got a lot of bait on it. Hey, it might be a fish on that. So we ended up with four good eating size fish. We got two uh, flatheads, two channel cats, and a snapping turtle, which we put him back. But all in all, it was a good day. We didn't kill it, obviously, but I think we learned some stuff. I think uh, I think if we make any more bank poles, we'll make them longer. I think that'll help. I think that. Uh, I'd like to experiment with hooking the bluegill a little bit different. We've been hooking them back toward the tail, and I think that they're able to flip those hooks out some. And maybe experiment with adding some sinkers down closer to the uh, the bluegill to kind of limit their movement that way they can't swim into uh, snags and roots and stuff. I first thought that we probably had a problem with gar stealing all of our bait, but we also had five live baits that were still alive and kicking. So, but either way. It was a good time, better than sitting at the house. Make some improvements before we go back and do it again. And we'll see y'all next time.